Today we will be talking about refraction and answering one of life's most important questions. Just exactly where are all the fish? But to do that we need to understand refraction. Refraction is the change in direction of a wave as it passes from one medium to another. Let's have a look at this pencil. We are seeing it through air and glass. Now let's add some water. The light reflecting from the bottom half of the cup now has to pass through water, which makes the pencil appear bent. This diagram explains the science. Light travels in a straight line until it hits a new medium. When it hits a new medium, the light is refracted and the angle of the light changes, although it still travels in a straight line. This will happen again when it hits another new medium. But what has this got to do with fish? If you are looking straight down at something through two media, e.g. water and air, then the light is not refracted. But if you are looking at something at an angle, the light will be refracted and the thing you think you are looking at will not be exactly where you think it is. This is very important for spear fishermen in the Amazon. Being a good spear fisherman is not about how accurate you are, but how good you are at just missing what you think you are looking at. In other words, you are more likely to eat if your aim is a bit off. Refraction doesn't just happen between air and water. It happens when light passes through space into our atmosphere. Light takes 8 minutes to travel from the sun to the Earth's surface. Earth is always spinning relative to the sun. This is why the sun appears to move across the sky. But the sun is always 8 minutes ahead of our view. Don't forget refraction. The light has changed direction when it passes from space into our atmosphere. So now when you're having a walk in the park and somebody asks where the sun is, you could be a bit more precise with your answer. So, where exactly are all the fish? Not quite where you think they are. This, this is Science Rocks. Rocks.